about your heavenly language, okay? But Holy Spirit is a gentleman, and he won't violate your free will. But he wants you, he wants to be able to uh, manifest through your life, and he wants you to get to that next level, and he wants you to yield yourself to him. So if you will, la, la, ba, ba, do it in your own, do it in your car, wherever. You may only have, you may go, la, ha, da, da, and then you got your heavenly language. You may have to, la, la, ba, ba, da, 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 and you know might have to do it for you know 30 minutes a day whatever the point is you know it's a point of contact it's saying hey I'm ready and if you will do that and don't give up don't stop before the miracle happens you will get your heavenly language and when you get your heavenly language your life in God is just going to catapult and you will have spiritual eye you, he said you know that the eyes of your understanding being enlightened you will know what is the hope of your call and because Holy Spirit, he is your helper and he will give you spiritual eyes. And when you get the baptism, baptism of the Holy Spirit, the evidence of praying in tongues, when you read the word of God, it'll no longer be words anymore. It'll be life. It'll be illuminated. You will be enlightened. So I felt led to, uh, to say that because... I can't imagine someone not having the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Amen. So anyway, I don't know. I know that's for someone. I don't know who. But um, anyway. All right. Now let's get back over to the word. All right. So now Romans 8, um, 28. And we know that all things, all things, all things work together for the good for those who love the Lord and are called according to his purposes. For whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he predestined, these he also called. Whom he called, these he also justified. And whom he justified, these he also glorified. What then shall we say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall bring a charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies. Who is he who condemns? It is Christ who died and furthermore is also risen who is even at the right hand of God, who also makes intercession for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? As it is written, for your sake, we are all killed all day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Yet in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am persuaded that neither life nor death nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Woohoo! Glory! Is that not awesome? So this is what I love is Jesus is our chief intercessor. He is our great high priest who sits at the right hand of the Father, making intercession for us 24-7. Now the Holy Spirit makes intercession through us according to the will of God. So when you're praying in the Spirit, 
The Holy Spirit is the only one who knows the Father's perfect will for your life. And think about it. How many, this, not, not to condemn anyone, but you can only, you can say our Father is, you know, a uh, hundred times a day, but you really still feel empty because there's no life in that and it's not to bring condemnation i pr i pray the our father but i only pray it one time and then it'll lead me into what's on the father's heart and as i pray in the spirit then next thing you know as i'm praying in the spirit then i'll get understanding as to what i'm praying so that i'll go in the spirit in my english native tongue in the spirit sometimes i'm in chinese tongues but you know you just yield yourself to holy spirit i don't want to ramble on i just want to i i think the main thing is is the Holy Spirit is wanting you to go to another level. And if that is you that's wanting to go to the other level, now you know how to get your baptism in the Holy Ghost. So anyway, I love you today, and I'll bless you, and I hope that this minister. So Father, in the name of Jesus, and by the power of your Holy Spirit, I just lift up whoever is, has tuned into this broadcast. And Lord, you're, if your children are yearning to get to that next level, Lord, oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. This is another thing that he wanted me to let you know. When you have the baptism of the Holy Spirit, it's not just going to fly out of your mouth. You have total control over it. You're not just going to be talking to somebody and all of a sudden, da, 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 and you're like, Ooh! it doesn't work that way. I'm talking to you right Right now in my English tongue and I'm praying in the spirit at the same time because my body is speaking to you but my spirit man is also speaking you're a spirit you are a speaking spirit who has a soul which is your mind your will or your emotions your intellect your reasonings and you live in a body amen so um, let Holy Spirit have his way so yield yourself to the spirit so you will know the perfect will of god for your life and if you are, are a prayer warrior and you pray for people all the time that you really need a heavenly language because you don't know what that person needs but Holy Spirit does, and he wants to be your prayer partner. So you can go, you can still pray in English, but then you let allow him to pray through you, so that way y'all are prayer partners, amen? So, uh, I'm sorry, I'm rambling now. So I love you today, I bless you, and uh, if you did get your heavenly language, just send me a private message or something, because I would love to hear, okay? Love you. Peace in. That surpasses all understanding. Bye-bye.